What was it like watching the game not on the field on Saturday? Oh, it was just so many positives uh, with how the team played and the win, and we came out real healthy. And, uh, you know, you win the opener, that's, uh, that's a tremendous thrill of victory and wonderful feeling of winning. Uh, it's also great. Felt the love from uh, players, the coaches, the uh, Michigan faithful. Uh, so, so many, so many good things. You watched it at Cheryl Moore's house. How much of that game did you spend sitting down and how much were you standing up and maybe yelling some things at the TV? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, there's, a, there's definitely uh, some, some uh, cheering. I know Sharon's dog, uh, you know, he got, he got super excited after, you know, maybe I yelled and Sharon yelled a few times, but uh, Sharon said the dog was just, dog was happy for the, for the interception or the touchdown. McCarthy flush, gonna throw on the run, touchdown! 26 of 30 out of your quarterback. J.J. McCarthy yeah. looked outstanding, looked in command of the offense. The passing attack seemed to really stand out, especially in week one. What did you make of your quarterback's performance in the opener? I thought it was phenomenal. Uh, tremendous start. I mean, it's the highest completion percentage in Michigan history of a pass is thrown over 30 attempts. Uh, pass protection was tremendous. No turnovers. Yeah, for J.J., great, great first step. And now we re reset and get going for week two. He connected with Roman Wilson for three touchdown passes. Wearing number one at Michigan for a wide receiver is always a big deal. How well did he represent the legends that have come before him in this performance against East Carolina? Oh, he was great. Roman was great. Uh, you know, it's just tell him, oh man, just do you. And, uh, and, and he, was doing, he was doing Roman Wilson and, and doing us proud. Getting, getting off the ball clean, gaining separation, increasing separation, and then making the catch and then scoring the ball in, in the end zone. I thought Cornelius Johnson had a, had a great day as well. Made some over the middle tough catches and uh, diving catches. And it was uh, great to see him. Colson Loveland, you know, four, four, uh, four targets, four catches. You know, and some, and, uh, you know, there'll be more coming his way. But great to see uh, Donovan and, and Blake back healthy and playing together. Both of them uh, got, a, got a good amount of touches and went, went for over 70 yards, both of them, uh, along with Cornelius and Roman. So four guys over, over 70 yards in production. Kirk Campbell thought he did a great job, 31 passes, 31 runs. Uh, and, and talked about the offensive line. There's some real, you know, it's a blitz mentality, blitz oriented type of defense and and they and they were bringing it and and the protection was was outstanding the way we were picking up those blitzes the name of the game of football you try to get your hands on the ball you try to score points turnovers i mean jesse talked about it filling in for you on game days we got to force more turnovers it's a goal for the entire team this year your hands on the ball right away mike sanders still making the interception should have had the second one there despite the rule uh, how proud are you of the defense and, and where do you see areas to clean up and improve going forward yeah there's uh it was a fast physical Defense, uh, well disciplined, uh, no, no penalties on the defense the, in, the entire game. Uh, and we get the turnover. That's, I think that's when we were, uh, Sharon and I were <laughs> shouting the loudest. Uh, you know, just great to see it. Um, the, the pressure was there too. Uh, Ke Ke uh, Kenneth Grant had a, had a tremendous football game. I mean, there was a run wall that was created. Mason Graham also went in, our edge guys. Uh, Cam Good, a bunch of a bunch of the guys contributed. Ken, Kenneth was a real, real force, and uh, there was just nowhere to run. Under two under 250 yards, uh, held the offense, and uh, yeah, one turnover. That's uh, that's a good start. Let's uh, let's reset and get some more this week. Uh, and also, the offense didn't turn the ball over. And uh, since 2015, we're 39 and 0 when when we don't turn the ball over. There's a personal point of this weekend and watching your son as the acting head coach for Michigan football. I'm sure there has to be something inside you. What will it be like to see Jay Harbaugh with acting head coach when they throw the graphic up on there for a half this weekend? Yeah, so the, uh, it's, it's what I see for everybody. You know, the, um, the leadership opportunity, the, talk about turning a negative into a positive, that's a big one. And that's, that's one, those leadership bonds uh, with our captains, our, our senior leaders, every player on our team and our coaches and them having the opportunity to, to be in that, that leadership, that leadership opportunity, uh, and have those leadership bonds. I think it's uh, it's something that could take us to the top. And uh, you know, I, I foresaw that, and I, I see that happening. So yeah, I'm very excited about that.